Artemisia Gentileschi put female heroes front and centre on her canvases, despite living in a world dominated by men some 400 years ago. After being at the centre of a rape trial aged 17, against all the odds Artemisia went on to achieve fame not for her past, but for her passion. Artemisia had spent her entire life in her native Italy. But in her 40s, she received an invitation to travel much further afield, and she had no choice but to accept. Artemisia's father, Orazio, was already in London, working as a court painter for Charles I. After what must have been a long and difficult journey, it's believed Artemisia was brought here, to the Queen's house in Greenwich, where ageing Orazio was working on the ceiling in the Great Hall. Orazio died within months, leaving some to believe Artemisia was sent for to help her ailing father finish the job. Artemisia remained in the capital for several months after this in the service of the Queen, and I've been invited inside the Royal Collection Picture Conservation Studio to see one of her most astonishing works that was painted during her time here. So, Letizia, can you tell me what we're looking at here? Yeah, so we're looking at a picture that shows the allegory of painting, which is a female personification of painting. And in Artemisia's own day, um, there was a handbook that artists would follow, and the allegory of painting was always a, a female. Um, she would wear a sort of shimmering dress. She would have arched eyebrows showing kind of inspired thought. And I think she, she fuses these two traditions as allegory and self-portraiture in this really kind of unique image. And of course, because all personifications were female, and Artemisia is a female painter, you know, no male artist could have really done something like this. It's a very kind of dynamic pose, and I think that tells you a lot about what Artemisia um, thinks painting should be. It's not a sort of contemplative uh, thing, it's a very kind of physical act. And she also puts her initials right beneath the painter's palette, so she's absolutely making this picture a sort of reference to herself. After her short time in London, Artemisia returned to Naples. There, she continued to produce extraordinary work for at least another 15 years into her 60s, cementing her legacy as one of the greatest storytellers of her time. I'm really glad that we're now at a point where we're celebrating this extraordinary woman with this extraordinary life, who still feels so present in the extraordinary works that she's left behind. 